Welcome to 5-Minute German Grammar. Thank you for watching. This presentation will explain modal verbs in more detail. In an earlier presentation, an introduction to modal verbs, we saw that modal verbs kick the infinitive form of the verb to the end of the sentence or clause. You may want to review that presentation once again if you feel that you don't fully understand this process. This presentation will examine the different meanings of the modal verbs. The modal verb dürfen conveys a sense of permission, a sense of being allowed to do something. In the sentence you see on the screen, ich darf um 12 Uhr kommen, the subject of the sentence has permission or is being allowed to come at 12 o'clock. It is important to note that dürfen does not express possibility as does the English may. For example, I may possibly come at 12 o'clock. To express this concept in German, we would use the adverb vielleicht, meaning perhaps or maybe, in conjunction with the verb. Ich komme vielleicht um 12 Uhr. The modal verb können conveys a sense of ability, a sense of being able to do something. In the sentence you see on the screen, ich kann um 12 Uhr kommen, the subject of the sentence has the ability to come at 12 o'clock. You can also use können without an infinitive to express the knowledge of something or to know how to do something. For example, ich kann Deutsch, I know German. In this case, the infinitive sprechen, meaning to speak, is understood from the context. The modal verb müssen conveys a sense of necessity, a sense of being required to do something. In the sentence you see on the screen, ich muss um 12 Uhr kommen, it is necessary that the subject of the sentence come at 12 o'clock. It is important to note that, when expressing need, müssen cannot be used with a direct object. It only works with an infinitive, I need to come, at 12 o'clock. To express need with a direct object, you must use the verb brauchen. Ich brauche das Buch. I need the book. The modal verb mögen means to like someone or something. Although it can be used with an infinitive in some contexts, most of the time it will be used only with a direct object. Er mag dich. He likes you. This is the only modal verb that is not regularly used with an infinitive. The modal verb möchten, however, requires an infinitive and is used to express polite wishes. Ich möchte dich sehen. I would like to see you. In spoken German, however, if the infinitive can be guessed from the context in which the sentence is used, it can be left off. Ich möchte Kaffee. I would like coffee. In this case, the infinitive trinken, meaning to drink, is understood from the context. The modal verb wollen also indicates desire or intent, but has a much stronger meaning than the modal verb möchten. For example, ich will dich sehen. I want to see you. Finally, the modal verb sollen indicates a very strong obligation, a sense of being supposed to do something. Ich soll um 12 Uhr kommen. I ought to come at 12 o'clock. The modal verb sollen can, in certain contexts, also express supposition or hearsay. Er soll Polizist sein. He is supposed to be a police officer. The five-minute German grammar series is produced by David Neville, Associate Professor of German. The video scripts and lecture slides are released under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, share-alike 4.0 international license. Don't be a square. Remix and share.